We are up before the sun again. Just walked the dogs, got everything ready. Let's go deliver some freight. chilly morning. It's one of those mornings that lets you know, hey, just in case you forgot, winter is still on the way. So we stayed at the on route near Guelph, Ontario today, or last night, this night. to a small town called Delhi. Drive 10 kilometers. Delhi, Ontario. It's about an hour from here. And we gotta be there in about an hour. Look at all these trucks parked here. There's never enough parking in Southern Ontario. sunrise this morning. Don't get to see many of those. How high is this bridge? 4.5 meters, 14.6 feet. We're good to go. My truck is 4.2 meters high or 13 foot 6. Right underneath it, just like that. Uh, I guess hockey season is coming. Tim Hortons and Timbits they got their little hockey players on there now. Timbits, uh, Tim Hortons actually has their own uh, hockey league called the Timbits, I think. Yeah, that's what they call them, Tim Hortons. It's for uh, children who come from uh, families who can't afford to put them through sports and stuff, and so Tim Hortons sponsors them to, so that they can play hockey. Because Tim Hortons is just great that way. And then I got a pumpkin spice muffin. I think they owe me for all this advertising I do for them. What do you think? Why don't you go spam their Twitter handle for me? <laughs> Never mind, we already tried that and they ignored every single tweet. Thanks, Tim Hortons, for ignoring me. I still love you. So our freight is delivered. We are on our way into Toronto, or well, Concord, whatever, Toronto. And we're gonna do a little trailer switch. We're gonna drop the empty trailer I have off there. That car has pink rims. Why? Why would you do that? Anyways, drop this empty trailer off behind me there, pick up a loaded trailer, bring that to Guelph. Drop that loaded trailer in Guelph, pick up another loaded trailer in Guelph, and take that somewhere else. That pickup's just like mine on the left there. Except he has the short five foot box and I got the longer six foot box. I like the box topper he's got on there though. Nice, I need to get one of those for my pickup. Except I want one that you can roll back. Real easy, it saves on fuel economy when you do a lot of uh, highway driving. You have that on there. I miss my pickup now. Mm -hmm. Sad face. If you haven't uh, guessed already, we're in Toronto. No, it's not rush hour, it's just, it's just Toronto. And now we got hail. Keep exit 29 on right to Rio Route 7, then keep left. That's what I'm doing, man. Oh, well, it's quick. The hail's gone. That guy's losing his load. Oh, yeah, you just throw a rug on top of your box there. It's going to fly away. Just saying. Well, that was quick. We had a little hail storm there real quick. Keep left on to Langstaff Road. Langstaff Road, okay. Now you want to cut it, oh come on, make your move already. Make your move, but don't hit the brakes, hit the gas. There you go, there you go, see? That was a borderline lane dive. 
Continue 1.4 kilometers, then keep right to Langstaff Road. And you left your signal on. All right. Fix what hair I have left. Soon I won't have to fix my hair at all because it's just all falling out anyway, so it's for the better. I don't have to comb my hair. I don't like combing my hair. So we're here, uh, we're going to switch trailers now. I brought this load from uh, Concord, Ontario to Guelph here, which is in Ontario. Uh, we're gonna switch trailers, grab a different one, and that one is taking us away from here. I'm gonna leave it a mystery for you guys. You guys can sort of figure it out as we go. We'll see. I'm gonna let the boys run around a bit. I think they deserve a good, a good run. This is gonna be a little crazy, but there we go. Come on, boys. Go, go, give, 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 There they go. Hey, there's no grass that way, guys. Come on. Oh, oh are they finding the grass? Oh, man, they, they found some grass. There's train tracks back here. I don't think they're being used, but I just want to make sure. Dun, 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 dun. Guys. <whistles> oh, yeah, these train tracks aren't being used. Hey, Sarge, how you doing? Diesel? Hey, look at this, there's a big cement pad back here. I never even knew this was here. Oh, cool. Look at this. Hey guys, let's go check this out. Let's check this out. Look at this, I wonder what this used to be. There's no driveway leading up to it or anything. I mean, there's train tracks there on both sides. So I mean, that's... There they go, there they go. Those two brothers. They needed a good run. Good boy, Diesel. Good boy. Sergeant! Oh, he just won't leave Diesel alone. Well, Sarge? He obviously can't handle being out here with Diesel. Because you won't leave him alone. He can't even get his business done. So I let Diesel walk around. Come on, Sarge. Come over here. Now I'm walking Sergeant separately. Try to kill two birds with one stone and walk two dogs at once? No. He needs to be walked alone, otherwise he doesn't listen to me. We've got a lot of training to do yet. Diesel will listen to me regardless of whether or not Sergeant's out here or not. Sergeant, he'll only listen to me when Diesel's not out here. Which worries and concerns me a little bit, because he may be thinking is Diesel or thinking of Diesel as the alpha. Which doesn't make sense, because Diesel like bows down to me practically, so to speak. Sergeant. Well, Sergeant is the same way too. He respects me. It's gonna get a little windy now that I'm vlogging, sorry. He respects me, but he just, his mind goes a thousand miles a minute when Diesel's out here, so he doesn't it goes in the ear, out the other ear. See, now without Diesel here, oh yeah, he won't leave my side, sure, yeah, yeah. The real test is if he will come now. Hey, Sergeant, come here. Come here, buddy. Oh, good boy. You walked right past me, buddy, but that was close enough. Come here. Here, right here. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, see? You remove Diesel from the mix and he pays attention a little more. Now that I've had like 20 minutes to catch my breath, <laughs> I need to work out more apparently. I've been trying. I, I have been actually doing a lot of walking and running lately. <sighs> so now uh, we're, that we're unhooked from the trailer, we're bobtailing. The the other trailer is like right over there beside me, but I'm gonna go to Walmart first instead here in Guelph. I need to get some more dog food and restock some food for myself. And you know, just a regular Walmart run. Like just look at this Walmart. Look at it over there to the right. It's like one of those palace Walmarts. Is that a Walmart? No, it's a palace. It's the kingdom of Wally World. Well, hello. The girl in the back seat was staring and smiling at me. Well, hello. I'll smile right back at you. Do I want to park in? This is the one good thing about having a bobtail right now because I can get into all these tight spots. This is exactly why I did this. I'll, I'll still park towards the back. I'll go over there and park in the empty parking lot. Why not? 
Because I'm a good guy. Look at that, those buildings ahead of us there, they match the Walmart. Must be the same owner. All right, we're going for a walk. Right back over here. Right over here. Right here. Right there. Perfect. Nailed it. It's time to get a new shaver. Listerine, total care. I don't know why they make it purple. Couldn't they make it any other color? Toothpaste, allergy medication. Let's see, we need lots of chews for Sergeant. Said he stops chewing on stuff he shouldn't. Looks like all the chews are inside. You hear all that noise in the background? Those are the kids pressing every button on every Halloween toy a few, aisle, a few aisles over. <laughs> the pharmacy, it's just over that way. I felt sorry for them. <laughs> they gotta sit and listen to that all day. <laughs> Canine Cannon. Yes. What does it say? Tennis ball launcher. <laughs> That's a winner. I'm not spending 33 bucks on it though. Tried to fool me with the 3297 up there. I saw through that play. It's 33. 33, you can't fool me. Ah, they ripped up all their toys again. They need some new toys. Those boys. They keep me broke. I prefer these kind of toys with no stuffing in it. Cause then they don't rip the stuffing out. Otherwise, the first thing they do is they rip it open and they rip all the stuffing out. There you go. I'm s Stop looking at me. Stop looking at me. I mean, you're not getting a treat. You're, you're not getting a treat. What else should I get them? Should I get them another rope? They ripped up their other rope. I, have, I don't know what to get them. What kind of toys they got here? I want something that has... I already got them one of these. It's something here that doesn't have stuffing in it. Oh, hey, they have one of these at home. <laughs> and now to put it all away. How's that treat, Diesel? It's very good, man. Thanks. Thanks very much. It'll distract me just perfectly while you put everything away. Perfect. You're welcome. Yes, you're welcome. Thanks, man. Thanks. That's very nice of you. But I'm just gonna take this rope and just pig ear and I'm gonna go over here, alright? I'll just be over here for the next half hour. If you need me, I'll be right here. Alright, Sarge. Good for you, good for you. You take out the trash again. Got some, oh, this is a funny toy that I got them. This is a, a tail is what they called it. A dog tail. I don't know if I can focus on it. There we go. It's like just a, it's like a tennis ball inside of there or something. And this is crinkly. Sergeant really likes the idea of that. But Diesel had it first. Sergeant, I already gave you your toys. Let Sergeant play with, or let Diesel play with that for a bit. I want it, man. It looks fine. Well, you can play with these fun things for a while. Chew on your pig ear. There you go. Good boy. Some good bacon for you. Sort of. You guys are a little bit spoiled, you know that? Just a little bit spoiled. Back in Toronto. Toronto's always fun. Because you know, you see it all here. You see it all. If you can imagine someone on the road doing something crazy, it happens on a regular basis in Toronto. I mean, if you can get all the way through Toronto and not see something that just blows your mind, maybe scares you a little, if you didn't see any crazy drivers, you need to pull over because it's you. You're the crazy one then. <laughs> They're everywhere. But in all seriousness, like Toronto's a nice city. It's nice to drive through. Way too many people for my liking. So I'm always gonna be like, ah, traffic, traffic, traffic when I go through here. Man. For me, a traffic jam is when the farmer's moving his herd of cattle from one side of the highway to the other side and they stop traffic. You know, you, you might get like four cars lined up. Woo! Might make you late for church. A dark and spooky night. We're here at the Flying J, exit 730, Highway 401, Ontario, on the way towards Quebec. 
Our destination is still a mystery. This is where we, it's been a really long day for me and I need to get to sleep. I'm just gonna try to get the vlog up yet so that it's not gonna be late for tomorrow. Other than that, you guys can go down below to the description, find out a whole bunch of links down there. You can find all about me down there. You can also find vlogs to what I was doing on this day last year and the year before that. They're down there. Go check it out and give them a click. If you watched it last year, go for a recap. See if you remember what happened. Reruns are always fun. I'll see you tomorrow, anytime after 4 a.m. Central Time. Let's hope to have the vlog up then. If not, it's coming. Don't worry, it's coming. Don't be alarmed if it's not there exactly at 4 a.m. It should be, but if it's not, don't panic. Don't declare martial law or anything. It's, it's okay, they're coming. Drive 2.8 kilometers, then turn left on two. She's drunk. And I want to go to bed. See you tomorrow.